Hello there. Uh, welcome back to grade 11, mathematical literacy. Uh, in this video, we want to look at the common test of March 2022. And we're going to look at uh, the last question on the question paper. That is our question four. Uh, and our question reads, Anna owns a small bakery in a home. She pays 375 pounds for electricity and water to her parents every month. Table one below shows the year total monthly income and expenses for one month. The cost to produce one bread is um, table one and uh, the information to answer the question that follow. So the first part of our question, 4.1.1, identify the dependent variable uh, represented uh, in table one, identify a dependent uh, variable. But we know that a dependent variable depends uh, on other variables. So basically, we can try to describe it uh, from that uh, dimension. And also, uh, we can describe it as uh, uh, is uh is is the variable that is being measured. So in this case, obviously, uh, we are seeing that uh, the 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 variable that we are having that is dependent is uh amount uh amount in hands, which is uh, the amount in terms of expenses and the amount in terms of our income. So you see that uh, the amount is depending on uh, the number of bread. So number of bread becomes uh, the uh, independent uh, variable. The independent um variable now becomes the amount in hands. So basically, that's what we have for the first part, whereby we are saying. Uh, the correct response uh, that we have on uh, 4.1.1, we are saying amount, uh, amount in runs as a, uh, as a dependent uh, variable. Then we go to the next person. Our next person reads, the graph of Anna's total income has been drawn in, in answer sheets. In the first part, draw another graph showing the total expenses using table one. So we have put uh, uh, this uh, graph that we need to come up uh, with a graph, with a curve, obviously, of, uh, of total expenses. And we are seeing that total expenses, we are giving them, we are giving them uh, to, our, uh, to our graph. You can see that uh, we have a uh, vertical axis uh, being amount in runs. And then we've got number of grades of uh, our sort of axis. So all the vertical axis are uh, obviously that's where we are going to uh, uh, put our marks in terms of where we are starting our cave and where it's ending on the other side. So uh, we've got 500, 1,000, and 1,500. But if you look uh, uh, between 0 and 500, uh, we should see a uh, five, uh, 5 points there, uh, which is our 100, uh, 200, 300, 400, and 500. But uh, we are seeing that we put five points that um five points uh, that we're going to put including five hundred are uh, there and um the the lines that we are having are uh, indicating that we have got twenty lines that are in are in between so we can just maybe try to zoom out uh, whereby we are saying we have twenty uh, from the from this uh, from this power point that we are having here uh, going up to. Five to five hundred, so we have only twenty. But uh, we need to put hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, and uh, five hundred. So we put five points that we want to mark. And uh, if we say five points, we want to mark into uh, twenty that we are having uh, between here. You see that we, if we say uh, uh, twenty divided by by five, we get get four lines. So it means after every four lines, that's where we're going to put our mark. So we are saying our uh, one, two, three, four. So on the fourth one, we put our hundred. We we'll go again. Uh, one, two, three, four. We put our 200 at this point. Then uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, we put our 300. Then we count one, two, three, four. We put our 400. Then one, two, three, four. That's when we are now having our 500. So I'm uh, going back to the table that we are given. You see that uh, uh, the expenses are, are, start, are starting from 375. Are starting from 375. But if you go there again, you see again uh, between every 100, uh, we have four. Uh, four points. Uh, we are saying one, two, three, four. It didn't get to hundred. So it means um, we have hundreds uh, from zero to hundred, but our points we have four points. So if you say four into hundred, you're going to get twenty five. So it means every line that we are every every horizontal line that we are having here uh, is representing twenty five. In other words, we are saying twenty five, fifty, seventy five, hundred. So our our lowest point that we have uh, in terms of expenses is three seventy five. So we can go to our three our our three hundred. We are here. Whereby we are saying one, two, three, four. So we are here. That's where we have three, three, uh, three hundred. Then to, to go to seventy five, we remember saying twenty five, eighty, eighty, three seventy five. So three seventy five is here. So that's where we are going to start our, 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 our cave, and then we go back and uh, get to see where it's ending. So it's ending where we put at the, uh, the, the highest amount, which is one thousand three hundred seventy five. 
So basically, we go there again and pay to get five thousand three hundred seventy five. So we can go up. Uh, 1,375, we have it 1,000 here. So uh, we, we mark again in terms of 1,100. Uh, 1, so if we come here, we we'll see that uh, if you say 1, 2, 3, 4, that's where we need to be 1,100 here. Then we say 1, 2, 3, 4, 1,200. About 1, 2, 3, 4, 1,300. At this point, and then we can uh, try to uh, go up again. And we are saying uh, one, two, three, four, one thousand four hundred. At this point, so uh, what it means now, uh, if you go up now, we're saying one, two, three, four, and then why we are it's not one thousand five hundred. So the figure that we want to remember it's uh, one thousand three hundred seventy-five. So go back. Uh, we're saying we have 1,300 here, so we've got 1,325, 1,350, 1,375 at this point now. That's where our cave should end on the other end, on the other uh, vertical line that we have at the end. So we come here, uh, we come here, you see, we just need to try to. All right, so, so you see that we are here, that's where we've got our 75. So we we'll go to the other side. You see that we have put, uh, we have identified 1,375 uh, at this point, which is going to go to the other side. It's going to be here. Uh, so uh, that's where we're going to leave our mark. Right. Uh, so um, we can just maybe try to uh, put it in a line so that it doesn't, uh, starting here is on, three, on 375, and then we say we go straight. We give our, our 3, uh, 1,375. So basically, that's where we are going to end. That is, uh, uh, we have our point here. Uh, our point here is our, uh, where we are going to end with our K. So uh, with that now, we can now be able to, uh, to draw our line whereby we are saying, uh, we start from where uh, we marked is our, uh, 375 where it's starting. Remember, we said 375. That's where we are having our, our lowest expense. So we start there. That's where we have our initial line here. So we can just maybe put our cave from here. And it goes at two. We have a mark here where it should end. We have 1375. So that is what we have. Then from there, we are now saying. Uh, we have now answered our question, which says uh, the graph of uh, draw another graph showing the total expenses. So this is going to be uh, the total expenses. So we can just maybe uh, try to label it here saying this is the uh, total expenses. So uh, that's what we have in terms of our uh, okay. cave. So we can now try to go uh, to the next uh, question that we have there, and we can refer back to our question where we were saying the next question says, using your graph, determine how many grades Anna needs to produce in order to break even. So a break even point, obviously, is going to be the intersection point that we are going to have uh, on the graph. And we are seeing that uh, the intersection point is here. So we are saying uh, we Come here, you see that our intersection point, it's here where it's intersecting. And if you go back to the question, uh, they need uh, how many brains? How many brains uh, Anna needs to produce in order to break even? So obviously, we have got brains on the horizontal axis. So if you come here, you see that uh, it's coming here, we are here. Uh, we want to see how many number of brains are there now at this point. So uh, you are seeing that. Um, Uh, we have got 40 and 60, so we have got uh, 20. So it means uh, uh, 40 and 60, it means every middle point, that's where we're going to have 50, because it's every middle of uh, between 40 and 60, and obviously this becomes our our 50. 
Uh, so if we have got 50 here, it means that represents a 50 is the number of breaks. So this is uh, the answer that we have in terms of uh, in terms of the second part you say you use your graph to determine how many breaks Anna needs to produce in order to break even. So uh, the, the, the response that we have is a 50. 50 breaks. So this is uh, the number that is needed to uh, to break even. So uh, from there, you can now see that we can uh, try to proceed to the next part uh, where we, uh, we are seeing uh, determine using your graph the total expenses if she produces one hundred twenty one hundred twenty grades. So uh, then go back to our graph one hundred twenty grades. Remember, uh, let's just try to see the actual figure. 120 grades, yes, uh, we come here, you see that 120, we are here. And uh, the question needs uh, total expenses. So we come here, and you see that 120, we have identified it here, so you can maybe just try to put a line, so that uh, it's going up. So we are here, it's going to intersect this point. Uh, that's where it's going to intersect. So if you check it, uh, you see that the point that we have, uh, it's going to be at the point that we are having here. So basically, uh, it becomes easy for us to locate so uh, we are here, one of the things is here, so it's intersecting. And we are saying, uh, this is where we have put our points, and we can try to uh, zoom out so that we can just easily see. So we see that this is uh, where we have put 120 brains. So if you go this side, you see that uh, it's the first line just below. Uh, this one, just, that is just below your 1,000 here. So we are saying the point that we are looking for is here. So we want to know which quantity is here. And remember, we have got 500 and 1,000. And we were saying uh, between 500 and 1,000, we've got 500, just like what we did uh, beneath, whereby we were putting uh, 100, 200, 300, 400. So uh, we are counting four lines, then we put another point. So we can just do the same year, starting from 500, whereby we are now saying, to say to get 600, we are now saying 1, 2, 3, 4. Then this is your 600. Then you say one, two, three, four, go to your, to your 700. That is at this point, one, two, three, four, uh, 800. One, two, three, four, 900. And then one, two, three, that's where the point is. And we know that every um, every uh, line that we're, line that we're having is representing 25. So we're saying here 925, 950, 975. So our point that we're looking for is 975. So basically, uh, that's when uh, we can indicate it as 975. So uh, the response that we have in terms of our uh, determine your graph uh, or at one C determine your graph for total expenses or if she if she produce one hundred twenty breads, we have seen that is nine hundred and seventy five. So we are saying here it's nine hundred and seventy and seventy five. So this is what we have. And we go to the second part of our question is 4.1.3. The question to calculate Anna's total expenses is given as total expenses equal to 375 plus 500 times number of brands produced. Then I uh, write down the equations to calculate the total income in the form of total income is equal to uh, dash dash uh, times number of, uh, number of brands sold. So if you go to our, our, our graph, you see that uh, uh, this is uh, what we have. Well, this is our graph that we have. So uh, you go back to a question, it needs us to come up with the question. Uh, but uh, if you look uh, at the, uh, we're we going to look for, for the graph for uh, total income. So, but if you look at the graph for total income, you see that it's a, uh, a curve that is uh, creating a 45 degree line. You have got a 45 degree line here. Remember uh, this, uh, this one is a right angle, uh, angle whereby we are saying it's 90 degrees. So this one is intersecting at the middle, showing that it's a, a 45 degree line. So when you're having such, it means there is direct proportion. Uh, there is a direct uh, proportion that is taking place. 
So uh, we need to find out uh, the, uh, the income uh, that we are going to uh, have. Uh, we can just calculate the total income uh, per brand. Total income per brand. So we are seeing that uh, according to the graph that we have, Uh, according to the graph that we have, we can just maybe try to uh, indicate where we have. We can see that according to the table that we have, uh, we have, uh, for example, the income, if it's 125, uh, we have number of brand is 10. So we need to find income per brand. So basically, we need to say 125 uh, divided by 10, whereby we are going to get a uh, Plan feature as your income per brand. So uh, it means uh, since we are saying there is a direct proportion that is a uh, degree line that has been created there, uh, meaning it's a direct proportion. So basically we are saying we are going to say uh, the uh, for every uh for, for every uh, total income uh per quantity of uh number of brands, we are going to say individual uh income per brand times the number of brands. So basically that's what we have. So if you go to our question, you see that we are, we are big, it's being presented in the form. Uh, dash terms number of brands. So basically, the other that you're supposed to put there is going to be uh, income per brand. Then we multiply by number of brands are sold. Uh, number of brands sold. And then income per brand, we have calculated that one, and uh, the other that we put is 450. So basically, here you can just uh, present it in the form. Uh, 12 runs, our 12 runs 50. Our 12 runs 50, then you multiply by number of results. And number of. Number of results. So this becomes your final answer. That will get. So basically, that's the. Uh, the, the, the equation are used to calculate uh, total income uh, there. So we are saying total income is close to, so basically we are saying this is our, our total income. So uh, basically that's what we have. So uh, this becomes the last part of our question. Uh, so uh, let, thank you for listening. Hopefully the video was helpful. But let's, not, let's not forget to subscribe and share. Uh, let's meet again in the next video. As for this video, I'm signing out.